Museum of Taras Shevchenko and uh, Taras Mountain or Taras Hill. Um, at the entrance uh, there is a small uh, parking place, but as we can see very small <laughs> for several cars. So if you are going to come here on uh, some holidays, uh, be careful that you will not find uh, some free place to park your car. At the entrance we can see the grave of Yedlovsky uh, Ivan, the person who took care of Shochenko grave during 50 years. Uh, okay, and uh, next uh, we can see uh, a house in Ukraine style. This is generally the first uh, Shochenko museum, yes, or People's Shochenko museum. There are two rooms. Uh, one rooms. One room is uh, is the museum of Shochenko itself, and another room uh, we can see now on the photo. In this room, uh, this person lived with his nine or uh, ten children, a lot of yeah. And this room was uh, served as a museum of Shochenko. Uh, this uh, cross uh, stood uh, at the Shochenko grave up to 1923, and from 1953 uh, there was erected a bronze monument. And the building of the museum itself was built uh, also before the Second World War. At the hall of the museum uh, we see a uh, photo of Taras Shevchenko and this big photo is made from, uh, I don't know, hundreds, maybe small photos of uh, sculptures and monuments of Taras Shevchenko in Ukraine. So these small photos uh, make big photo of Taras Shevchenko. And the museum has uh, two floors. The beginning of the route uh, is from upper floor. And this floor is dedicated to the life and uh, creative way of or art way of Taras Shevchenko. Uh, here uh, you can see a lot of his poems, uh, pictures, uh, stories, and so on and so on. So in this way I just recommend to take a guide to uh, travel, <laughs> to, to, this, to guide to navigate you along this museum. Also Taras Shevchenko served in Russian army and it was in Kazakhstan. Uh, so this is uh, the kind of Kazakh house of the time uh, named Yurta. So you can understand uh, where uh, uh, Russian uh, soldiers lived at that time. The ground floor is dedicated to the life of Shevchenko after his death. Uh, Shevchenko died in St. Petersburg, but after some years his race decided to transfer it, his remains. We can see this route yeah, from St. Petersburg to Kanif. So after some years he was, uh, his remains uh, were buried again in, in Kanif. This is the grey of Shevchenko, how it looked like uh, at that time. And lately uh, he was installed a cross and lately again a bronze sculpture. Uh, this is the monument of Taras Shevchenko, how it looks like now and at his grave at any time of, uh, at any season, uh, you can find uh, fresh flowers. And from the hill you can make picturesque photos of Dnipro River and Downside Valley.